welcome back to my youtube channel hope you're all well and enjoying good health so this video is going to be very interesting because i'm going to share my insight and uh, what i've learned from these amazing saudi women and uh, the routines i've adopted in my uh, grooming or my self-care and this is what i've actually learned from these amazing women so the first thing uh, i would say uh, is i've been in riyadh for like seven eight months now and uh, Honestly speaking, before coming here, I had no idea how these, uh, how Saudi women actually are. But honestly, they are mind blowing. They are amazing. They are. I have no, no words for exactly, uh, you know, explaining how uh, good these women are. So if you uh, ask me why I'm saying such nice things about them, because they are hardworking. They are so caring, nurturing, sharing, and so soft, polite, humble. And uh, uh, besides that, uh, in work environment, they are really professional, very determined, you know, task oriented and whatever you assign them, they are delivering and, you know, it's so amazing. And I'm, I see a lot of transformation in Saudi Arabia in terms of women working and, you know, joining workforces everywhere you go, especially in shopping malls and financial sectors and all banks everywhere you see women and this is so exciting and uh, at the same time very empowering as well besides it uh, uh, I regularly go to gym and the way I see these amazing women so petite women amazing and so fit so fit that you know sometimes I feel like you know where was I where was I training these amazing women are so professionally trained and so good at you know in gym that i feel sometimes you know i feel shy but mashallah there's so much to learn from them and uh, it's basically wherever you go in the world you actually look uh, and learn and uh, adopt some good practices from wherever human beings or men or women are and it's always very exciting and a good thing that you know learn from learn the best practices adopt them and make them a habit so um today what i'm going to share about uh, in this video is uh, what I've learned uh, a few very interesting fact routines or uh, self-care or grooming tips that I've, I've actually acquired from Saudi women and uh, I'm practicing those as well so let's start with one first thing I have noticed about these amazing women is they always keep their hands hydrated so that's what I've started I always have a hand cream moisturizer somewhere in my office in my home everywhere because uh, I was impressed I was just looking at everybody in office and in malls and everywhere that why are they actually putting uh, hand care hand creams all the time then the reasons I figured out because it's a dry weather and at the same time uh, these amazing women actually try uh, take good care of uh, their hands so hand cream is the first one I have actually learned is uh, always 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 putting on a sunscreen before you go out nobody would go out without a sunscreen at least 30 minutes before uh, getting exposed to sun they put a sunscreen be it in the morning or in the evening so I actually have invested in four or five different sunscreens and uh, trying to save my skin against the heat and uh, UV rays so uh, it's always advised wherever you are and you are exposed to sun uh, do invest in a good sunscreen and uh, you will uh, thank yourself later for being careful about your skin so sunscreen amazing thing I've learned from these girls is they would always touch up their blush so that means every time you feel you know you're healthy, your cheeks are uh, glowing and retouching your makeup, uh, especially your blush. So step three, blush. Four is always using a nice um, nude lip gloss or a lip color or just keeping your lips hydrated if you are, if they are not wearing any, uh, you know, lipstick or a gloss or anything. Still hydrated lips so this was four 
of the very exciting and amazing things I've learned is always uh, to put a nice smell, a perfume. Every time you go out or not go out, I mean every few hours, just refresh your perfume and always smell good. They smell amazing, trust me. And is that they actually are very feminine and they wear very nice collection of very delicate jewelry spe specifically from very good brands and uh, nice collection not uh, uh, very funky or very bold jewelry but very light delicate and uh, specifically they actually invest in bracelets and like to wear a lot of bracelets but very delicate ones i have learned uh, from these amazing girls is always carrying and wearing a nice sunglasses or shades every time you are going out of the office or anywhere where is sun because it actually protects your eyes and also it gives you a very you know uh, a different personality all of a sudden when you are wearing your sunglasses there are some of very interesting finds uh, and uh, uh, good habits, uh, grooming tips that I have actually learned from uh, these amazing Saudi girls and I'm so impressed and I look forward to learn more from them and besides it, um, to be honest, uh, what I have experienced and noticed is uh, these women actually love Louis Vuitton so they always, everybody would have one nice handbag from LV and uh, uh, the jewelry brand, the favorite jewelry brand here is Katya and everybody would have you know uh, rings or bracelets from Cartier and uh, uh, they love these brands and besides it um, uh, one of the best things I really love about these girls is uh, they're very sharing so um, wherever you go whenever you meet them and uh, they would be sharing uh, either Arabic coffee or if they're eating something they will offer you and you know share whatever they're eating and the best part was uh, one of the experiences I had I was uh, standing at Ikea and uh, I was warming my food and it was iftar time and uh, there was a stranger girl standing right next to me and she had a date in her hand and uh, uh, all of a sudden uh, it was uh, uh, iftar time uh, and uh, I was thinking oh oops I'm late I'm just you know I have to run back to my table to get to drink some water or eat something and all of a sudden this one date she split it into half give half to me and ate the half and was so touching and I was so impressed by the hospitality and kindness and uh, sweetness of this girl and uh, so this is basically the cultural thing all these women are so amazing and so sharing and caring and nurturing and sweet and uh, I look forward to learn more and uh, thank you so much for your for watching this video if you have any experience with uh, any other nationalities and you have learned something please write in the comment box i would love to hear from you and uh, let's share the experience and learnings uh, and uh, let's become better version of ourselves and let's make the world a happy place to live thank you so much for watching take good care of yourself 